Hey guys, big announcements for the Digimon card game right now. So right now there's a ban and restriction card announcement that drops today. And uh, let's go over it, alright? So first off, right now, the card Calling from the Dark that has been reduced from 3 to 1. And the reason, they even tell us the reason why. It says right here, this card can delete a player's own Digimon and collect Digimon cards from a player's own trash for a low cost. As a result, it causes various endless loops and is supporting unintended play styles. For this reason, we have decided to restrict this card to one copy per deck. Now it's pretty nice, at least uh, they're looking out for us uh, players and they want us to like have fun. Because I know for sure if there was like an endless loop of stuff going on, I would definitely be a little bit upset. Especially when I just want to have a good time playing the card game, you know? So next up we have Sunrise Buster. So this card has a powerful DP reducing effect. Along with its effect of that plays a tamer. Therefore the output of this card's effect is greater than intended in some decks. For this reason we have decided to restrict this card to one copy per deck. And here we have the Dual Greymon. As a Digimon card with X antibody in its traits, uh, multiple copies can be easily be placed as the bottom Digivolution card of a Digimon by other card effects to gain security plus attack. Furthermore, when Digivolving, it has a powerful defensive effect that prevents other effects from deleting it or reducing its DP until the end of your opponent's next turn. Okay, that's a nice restriction. Um, I definitely would not like playing against something that I cannot do anything like, you know, deleting it or reducing his DP. So I guess it's good they did that. Pretty overpowered. Okay, next up we have Shoutmon Cross 4. Due to its effect that allows the reuse of cards required for a end of attack, did you cross? This card can be used for a string of repeated attacks at a low cost just by having multiple copies in a player's hand. On its on play effect also gives it a stronger than intended advantage to cross heart decks by increasing the number of cards in a player's hand. So yeah, that's really nice. Uh, I would say I'm pretty deep down with that. Uh, I would definitely would not like someone who just keeps attacking, attacking, attacking me. And uh, yeah, just increasing the cards by the player hands. But I guess there's a double edge there because if you're just increasing your like hand like very like not bad i would say it's pretty good uh, restriction here having to deal with multiple attacks is very annoying especially if you can't do anything about it increasing the number of cards in her hand that that part it kind of sounds like you know if they keep drawing they eventually draw their whole deck but yeah, makes sense. You don't want them to fish out what they need, that game-changing card, you know? Okay, that's it for the restriction. But however, along with the restrictions, we also get announcement of errata cards. And it says right there, in case anyone doesn't know, errata cards are cards in which their text changed due to print prints, to clarify translation or wording, or to adjust game balance. And yeah, so it also has that text is applied to all game formats and proceeds. So therefore, you know, these are now the new rules we must follow. Okay, so first up, Balsamon. So right here, the original said, like, when an effect suspends a Digimon, this Digimon gets 1,000 TP. The new thing, it says, now once per turn. So that's pretty nice. Uh, they're not going to reprint this. It says right here, uh, due to scheduling constricts, this card will not be reprinted in the revision pack. And therefore, you know, we must pretty much read this when playing. So get your sticky notes or notepads ready, guys. Okay, next we have you, Amano. And then here it says, Original, once per turn when you would play a level 4 or higher Digimon card with Bagra Army in a straight by placing up to 3 purple Digimon cards from under your tamers and the Digivolution cards. Other Digimon card played reduce the memory cost of that Digimon by 2 for each card placed. And now they just change it to put the 1. So now instead of like every time you play a level 4, they reduce it just to the 1 level 4. So therefore, you know, constricting it. But hey, get your packs ready. Okay, we have Bernie Star Crusher. So the original was security. Reveal the top three uh, cards of your deck. Add one card with cross art in the straight among them 
to your hand and play one Taiki Kudo among them without paying its member costs. Place the rest of at the bottom of your deck in any order. Now the new edit is reveal the top course and then it says you may add one Digimon card with cross out. So it says you may. So instead of uh, just saying you add it, you may, you don't have to apparently. So now it's optional. Blazing Memory Boost is the next one. The original is reveal the top six cards of your deck. Add two cards with blue flare in the traits among them to your hand and then you may play one Christopher Anuma among them without paying its memory cost. Place the rest of the bottom of your deck in any order and then place this card in your bat arena. Okay, so now the change is they added you may to make it optional and then they added N play instead of may play and then you play one Kira instead of Christopher so they added the option to make it optional they clarify you have to play it pretty much instead of may play and then the second thing is they change the name to kira okay guys that was it uh enjoy the new restrictions and the uh, clarifications for the cards goodbye